Hello and welcome to the induction for your online courses with King's Global Health Partnerships in partnership with Medicine Africa. King's College London has worked in partnership with your university for many years, with the first work starting between King's and Somaliland all the way back in 2000. King's Global Health Partnerships, or KGHP, is the part of King's that focuses on health system strengthening and that works with your university, as well as alongside other institutions that you see on the slide. We work with the University of Hargeisa, Amud University, Edna Adan Hospital University, FET and Medicine Africa. At the moment, most of this work is funded through a UK government funded project called Prepared for Practice, which is led by the King's Global Health Partnerships. The goal of the project is to ensure graduate doctors, nurses and midwives are prepared for clinical practice when they graduate and in turn are able to improve the country's health outcomes. Where this is important for you is in relation to your online courses, which are delivered on the platform. Medicine Africa is an online learning platform that allows students to attend virtual tutorials delivered by experienced UK health professionals who volunteer their time. These tutorials form a key part of your degree and will give you an opportunity to develop vital skills that you will require to pass your exams and to eventually become a fully qualified doctor, nurse or midwife. Where they differ from many other online courses is that they are live, they are interactive, which means they rely on your participation to be effective, and that they are delivered to small groups of students, which gives the chance to as many of you as possible to participate. Some important things to know about your online courses are firstly that they link into your local university curriculum and complement your face-to-face -face teaching. This means that they are a part of your education degree and thus important to attend and participate in the conversation online. The courses are designed to provide a small group space for you to ask questions and have discussion with a tutor. This was a need identified by previous students as they felt that whilst they had sufficient access to medical knowledge, such as lectures and eBooks, they lacked enough time interacting with teachers to apply and refine their knowledge. So please use this time you have with the tutors on the platform to your advantage. Thirdly, the content for the online course and focus is co-developed between UK clinician volunteers and your university faculty to ensure it is relevant for your learning and practice. Each online course consists of five tutorial sessions and to pass the online course, you must attend at least four out of five of those. Pass or fails for the online course count towards your final year mark in the same way that your attendance at your face-to-face -face classes does. Finally, your main point of contact is your online coordinator. Students are expected to do a number of things, which I will talk through now. Firstly, they are expected to attend all tutorials to get the most out of their course. Each session has a different topic, so if you miss one, you lose the chance to ask questions and to participate in the discussion. You are expected to log in early for your tutorial. We recommend at least 10 minutes before the start. And this is to make sure that you have a good connection and can allow the tutorial to begin on time, as it can be frustrating for students and the tutor to have to wait for everyone to join and this can cause delays. We expect you to participate in the tutorials, firstly by introducing yourself at the start and throughout answering tutor questions in the chat box, as well as asking your own questions. 
Make the most of the time you have with your tutor for discussion and practice of your critical thinking. These tutorials are for you, so make sure you take advantage. Finally, please be prepared. For some courses, like clinical reasoning, you will be expected to bring a case to the tutorial. This is important for your learning as a doctor, so please make sure you are ready to present a case for discussion. For other courses, like basic research, you might be asked to complete some homework. Again, this is to practice and get feedback from the tutors on your performance. Throughout your time on Medicine Africa, if you are facing problems, please let your online coordinator know or use the support form on the Medicine Africa platform. The sooner you let us know, the sooner we can fix any problems you're having. I'd like to talk now about collecting feedback. We collect feedback data from yourselves as students via an annual survey, as well as a short survey after each course. Some of you might have been asked to complete this survey last year, and thank you to those of you that did. We really value this feedback and we use it to improve the course for the next year. I'd like to share now some data from last year's Medicine Africa survey. You can see the numbers on the slide. This shows that the majority of students, around 77%, were satisfied with the quality of their course that they agree the courses are an important part of their education and that they are able to apply what they learn to real world situations. You also shared that you would like more resources on the platform, more polls and quizzes. And we have shared this feedback with tutors and we will be integrating this year for most of the courses. And finally, I'd like to share the student representative opportunity with you. Every year, a student representative is selected for the online course and they represent the students in his or her group. They share feedback with Kings and they are an ambassador sharing the value that these courses can provide. To give an overview of the responsibilities of the student representative. They collect student feedback and share this with the online coordinator. They are available to the students so students can reach out and share their feedback. And they are an online course ambassador, communicating the value and the aim of the online courses to the rest of the student community. To be a successful applicant, we require that a student representative is a good communicator, they are active in the student community and that they are familiar with the Medicine Africa platform. To recognise the work done by the student reps, they receive a certificate from King's College and from Medicine Africa at the end of the year. If this is something that sounds interesting to you, please get in touch with your online coordinator for more information and to apply. Due to the impact of COVID-19, it's not possible for us to be in Somaliland at the moment to help you with your induction. So we've put together a team to help you get logged in. And we've also put some extra resources on our website. You can find our website at any point at medicineafrica.com. From here you can find the area where you can log into the site and you can also find a lot of resources under the remote induction tab. This has all the videos that you'll see today as well as some information also in the Somali language. As ever with any part of the Medicine Africa site if you get stuck logging at any point you can always contact the support team. To do this you go down to the bottom of the page and click report an issue. This will bring up the support form. Simply type in your email address and tell us about the problem you're having. This is the fastest way to get support. 
Once you've finished giving us the details about your problem, click Submit and our support team will look at it straight away. Now, let's try and log, look at how we log into the site for the first time. After you've been registered on the site, you'll receive an email with your login details. I recommend copying and pasting your password somewhere safe as you'll need it later on. Click the link in the email you received. This will take you to the Medicine Africa login page. Here, enter the login details you received in the email. After you've entered your login details, you'll be taken to a page where you'll be asked to change your password from the current password to a new password of your choice. After you've changed your password, you'll be asked to read and agree to the site policy agreement. After reading and agreeing to the site policy, you'll be taken to the website's homepage where you'll be guided through a short tutorial. Once you've managed to successfully log into the site, you can begin to look around the introduction course. The introduction to students has all the information you need to make a success of Medicine Africa. On this course, you can sign the student agreement um, and you can also test out the tutorial space. Please look at all the information that you can. It will help you and avoid unnecessary time being lost or wasted. Forgetting your password is a common issue. If you forget your password, it's very easy to get it reset automatically without having to contact support. All you have to do is go to the login screen of the Medicine Africa website. From this screen below the login button, you should see a link saying forgotten your username or password. This will take you to a page where you can enter in your username, that's your email address. Provided you, you submit a valid username or email address, they are both the same, then your password will be reset. You only need to submit one, either username or email address. If this is done correctly, you'll get a confirmation screen and then you will get an email in your inbox. From your inbox, you click on the link and then you will get a chance to create a new password. Please try and make sure you remember this password so you don't have the same problem again. And that's it. You can reset your password as many times as you like. If you are unable to use the password reset feature, then please remember that you can also contact support. To do that again, it's the report and issue link at the bottom of the page. You just click on that, type in your support request, and we'll help you out. The main feature of Medicine Africa that you'll be using is the Collaborate Online Real-Time Tutorials. These are spaces where you can hear and communicate with your tutor and discuss a subject. First, you'll need to navigate to your course and then within your course, click and find the Collaborate link. There should also be a green button called Joint Session. Make sure you're there early so you can find out exactly where it is 
and it's sometimes on slow connections it can take a minute or two to load. Once you're in the tutorial you'll see a number of features. The purple button here brings up the chat box. Use this to communicate to your teacher. It's highly likely that your microphone will be muted um, and we do that to avoid too many voices talking over one another. So generally mute your microphone and let your tutor talk and you can type in your responses. You can also raise your hand to attract attention. But again, typing is the main way of communicating. For mentoring sessions or other sessions, audio may be provided. Thank you for watching this Medicine Africa induction video. We hope you have a really successful term. Please remember to contact the support team if we can help in any way. Thanks again.